you've put up evidence, Ms. Jackson, that you go in to get a one-day change of color. You're trying to get ready for your date, this new beginning in your life, and that didn't happen. Mr. King, you are a professional. You actually tried to tell her, slow down, let's do it over two visits, and she wouldn't listen. She wanted it done now. And because you are a customer pleaser, you tried to do it in one city. I was horrified. I feel like a monster. If you had have listened to me, but you were too busy wanting to have sex with this new guy. Mr. That is King, none of your business. Hold on, hold on. No, we're not doing that. Personal injury cases that I have handled, this one is near the top as to how personal it gets. You still have the responsibility of, as plaintiff to prove your case. You've got to prove that Mr. King was wrong and that his wrong caused your obviously terrible injury. Here, you've put up evidence, Ms. Jackson, that you go in to get a one-day change of color. You're trying to get ready for your date, this new beginning in your life, and that didn't happen. Mr. King, you are a professional and I can see it. You know what you're doing. I know you didn't intend to do this. You actually tried to tell her, slow down, let's do it over two visits, and I can get you what you want, but you've got to adhere to my professional advice, and she wouldn't listen. She wanted it done now. And because you are a customer pleaser, you tried to do it in one sitting. This case sheds big light on professional service and what professionals must do. Here, this isn't just hair coloring, you're like a hair surgeon. Despite the fact that the client wants the surgery faster, you as a professional cannot speed that up. Part of your professional duty is to do it according to the professional standards and those require two visits regardless of what she says. I have to find against you, but I am not going to award you everything that you've asked for. You've asked this court to award you $143,000, but I'm not going to give you $143,000. I'm going to award you $20,500 for your past medical bills, $20,000 for your future medical expenses, and instead of $102,500 that you seek for pain and suffering, I am awarding you $602,500 so for a total award of $643,000 in your favor against the defendant. And that is my final verdict. This matter is adjourned. Thank you.